What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Cyberpunk 2077. Taking a look at the Bartmoss Collective site. I'm trying to remember exactly what I need to do here to advance the quest. I'm going to just hit that read more button. You've reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye. Okay. Well, that was cute. Now on to the actual goal of today. He just v, threw that over. What's just that? in time. It's gonna hit somebody. Ah, uh, Goro. If you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. There's a round-the-clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I is it the parade? I advise you to examine it yourself. Look, I get it. He's got an accent. Yada yada yada. I to come on. With, the you can say parade, works. even Truly, with an accent. Much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers see, will see things more even better. Normally on that one. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Wait, if things go to shit, we got a backup plan. What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. Plans fuck beyond all recognition. Yet here I am. I know, and I thank you for this. Thank me once it works, and get in position. Very well. Wait for my signal. Stay safe, Goro. And before anybody gives me shit, because now I can actually talk that they're done talking, uh, about, you know, oh, he's got an accent, he's got this, what? I, I actually don't know if the voice actor for Goro is actually somebody Japanese speaking English. Um, I am but I have known multiple people from Japan. Um, and oddly enough, I was in a situation where I've heard them say the word parade multiple times. None of them have pronounced it with that cadence. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach old snipers before Anagosama's float appears. If anybody's wondering, AJ, how the hell have you been in the situation to know multiple Japanese people who have said parade a lot? It, it was a it, it was a music thing. The organization I was a part of uh, for Fourth of July. It's a big fundraising thing. Wherever we are, we'll usually do two, three parades, sometimes even four. And uh, the organization I was part of, uh, because we kind of have like a cowboy theme. Oddly enough, we draw in a lot of um, a lot of interest from Japanese kids who come uh, come over for the summer to participate. Um, it, it, it's a big thing. This activity, as a whole, other groups um, also bring in you know have Japanese kids who come across and. Um, participate over the summer, but uh, like I said, our group usually had a had a good deal 
um, good deal of them because of... Oh, <laughs> I missed that one because my fingers slipped, so I ended up uh, screwing things up. Uh, so yeah, so we end up getting a lot of... Um, a lot of members from Japan. Well, just kind of because of our theming. And... Kind of lost where I was going with this. Oh, right, 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 right. I was talking about the... Um, so yeah, so for 4th of July, we do a lot of parades. So I've heard them say the word parade a lot. And I stand by my statement. I have never heard... Somebody uh, with a Japanese accent saying parade. Closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. And I'll say this, holy shit, the musicians that came from uh, that came from Japan. Amazing, amazing musicians. Super talented. We had this one girl, I you know, I was in the tuba section. Uh, this one girl short girl D, this is important Oda is speaking to someone I am linking you in we both can listen again security is substandard it meets none of our norms Hanabu-sama should not be here you questioning your Inoku's orders do your damn job understood over and out mm -hmm. it is just as we expected Oda is here I will contact you with any news. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so she's this uh, this short girl in our tuba section. And she's awesome. She was a badass. She could, you know, keep up with anyone. Um, all that, you know, great girl. She was super fun. Near the end of the season, we find out, I you know, know we're out at... Out ogre. Adam fucking smash her. Chill out a sec. Sure it was him? I'd recognize that voice anywhere. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Sephora, I'll have to be satisfied with Smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine. We. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. So, you know, we're... It's late in the season. Our we just got done with a big competition. I think we are having like a like a short morning rehearsal, and then we're doing laundry and some other stuff later in the afternoon. So you know we're all kind of out. You know we're out uh, waiting for uh, waiting for rehearsal to start. We're all just kind of chilling for a little bit, <laughs> and she it, it, we're all like spinning our tubas and you know just doing just dumb little moves and stuff like that, just having fun. And she does this thing where, um, I, I think it was part of a routine or something that she had to do with a group in Japan. And she starts doing this little dance while playing this really funky kind of like bass line. And we're looking at her going, why didn't you tell us you could do this before? That's awesome. <laughs> like our, our staff comes out, start rehearsal and we're like, guys, 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 look what you can do. She was awesome. I, I, I'm serious. Chick was absolutely a, a badass. And if you think, well, okay, they're just dancing and playing an instrument. The amount of breath control and everything to, you know, kind of like bounce up and down and do, you know, uh, to do the dance she was doing while playing music, while playing a bass line like that, that steadily with that good of tone and everything. I, very, uh, you know what I mean. It's one of those things that as, it's very difficult. Um, uh, she was incredible. I. Sorry for all these these long stories. I'm just reminiscing about uh, about days gone by when I was younger. You would have to get down somehow. Just be careful. Yes, just so. Don't rush. I need you alive, not the corpse below.
So now that I've done my little reminiscing kind of on to what we're doing here, this is just me getting lost and not 100% sure where I'm going. Okay, so what you're seeing here is me stumbling around trying to find the, uh, A, how to change my quick hacks, and B, I thought I picked up a, I thought I picked something up from that guy, like a quick hack that I never, uh, that I've never seen before. Like I said, this is, also, this is me trying to remember how the hell to change my quick hacks. There we go. Yeah, it turns out I I didn't see what I thought I saw. My quick acts are pretty much the same as usual. Hey buddy, how you doing? Gotcha. And I pressed the wrong button. I let him live. Good words to hear. You will find a door to a staircase at the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep you posted. There we go. Nothing like, nothing like getting uh, caught by the random guy just walking down the stairs. Oh, 
well. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. You know, not much to say about what's happening, just because this is just a simple kind of combat section after I was dumb and got... Okay. Did... Did anyone else hear just like a beeping, like there was a, like a, like a phone couldn't connect or something? That was weird. Um, maybe it was Skippy talking and I just missed it. What was I about to say? But yeah, so... so what I, I was saying something, you know, the end of this combat is pretty much just generic. Can we have a moment to talk about how cool those giant koi fish are? Like that opening scene where, where V's looking up, you know, looking at the float coming by and, you know, the seeing all the lights and the koi fish and everything. Like, that, I think, visually is probably my favorite part of this game. Yeah, I'm like blowing up a blowing up a barrel right in your face. Did you guys know that shotgun beats person just standing in front of it? You can climb up from there. I can't believe it. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the float jets. Unless you intend to get cooked, I would keep my head low. Thanks, Skippy. I know I'm going to hell. Let me be. Uh, 
I mean, again, with what I'm saying about the about the visuals of the section, I mean, it, you, just the light, it, just that really nice blue lighting, the, again, the big floating koi fish. I, I kind of wish they did more of that. Ugh. It, 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 it's what really gives this game that, that cyberpunk feel. And I know, because what, I've had some people say, well, what makes it cyberpunk? The fact that they're just adding, like, Japanese elements to a city? Does that make it cyberpunk? Well, kind of, it's becoming that, but that's just because, you know, it's the... People view the... View the Japanese as kind of like the future of tech. That would be all. And whatnot, mix that with... It, it's a world that's becoming more integrated, more... And that is the Arasaka Netrunner. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hide. Like the float otherwise. She hides in the apartment building. We have the second sniper. Oh. Okay, on my way. Yeah, you know, a world that's more integrated and, and whatnot. Um, but again, but I personally don't mind that because I, I, I love the Japanese aesthetic that cyberpunk has begun to, to, to add. But I mean, but again, the, the, all the neon, the, the, you know, the blue lighting and everything. I, I it's just something that to me screams cyberpunk. Even without the Japanese influence, I, I still think it's it's very cyberpunk. Because again, it, it, when again it's when neon lights really futuristic. Well, again, it's kind of you got to look at when cyberpunk was created. What cyberpunk was? God, oh, cyberpunk spanned, and, and and I'm speaking of the genre, not the game. Um, but you know, like the cyber, the cyberpunk kind of aesthetic and genre really kind of got created around like things like Blade Runner and Total Recall and whatnot. Been on a while. Time for a break. So again, it's more it, it's it's the future envisioned by the past. Of course you're here. If you're wondering what the hell I'm saying, I, I essentially I'm saying. I, I love this game's visual kind of flair at times. I just wish they did more of it. As I get stabbed. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! I want Enough you! Enough stop targeting! You must try another way! <sighs> 113 ram to hit him with that move. I'm not a hundred percent sure what's causing a lot of the uh, the negative effects on him, but it, uh, you see me. Really Uh, you'll see me use it a few times, is that detonate grenade. I'm pretty sure that's what causes the stun. So that's what lets this weapon really go to uh, go to town and just unload on the guy. See, this is the biggest pain in the ass with, uh, with this fight. Is just that bit yeah, in my tongue. That he just runs away and starts healing at every kind of five seconds. Oh, that thing, he fights 
for the good cause. No, you fight for what is right and true. You must stand on your feet. And this is me kind of running around thinking and uh, taking it a little too long to realize, ah, oh, shit, he's healing. Yeah, what's holding and holding and freezing him is the uh, the grenade. What is your status? I I managed to. Uta, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. You're there lucky. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Yeah, I know. Really, AJ, you, you, you've been playing Days, this. Your lucky day, though. Could thank your old friend Goro. You've been playing a lethal. Why do you why do you let him live? Well, because I want to try and get in good with uh, Hanako, and uh, I think killing her bodyguard slash friend wouldn't be such a great plan. Um, but no, with what I was saying about the visuals, again, look at that boss fight. Just this candle lit room with the red, his faceplate with that. Uh, I, I I don't know what to call it. it, it, it with that kind of like electric imagery. On his face, it just, what God, it looked doing? good. Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. I think not visually, this up, again, this whole section be is probably enter. the best. なぜとまったんだ。危険だと警告されたの。織田とも連絡が取れないし、何か変だわ。パレードを中止すれば弱さを露呈したと思われる。弱さ誰のあなたの俺たちだ。私が参加したのは。あやつり人形になるためじゃないわ。この店物では兄さん。Goro, all systems jammed. It's now or never. Otosama. Anakosama. Anata wa. Oyoshio. Toka. Hanashi dake demo okiki kudasai. Saburo sama wa. Shichi no koto o kuchi ni shinai. Kore ga ore ni dekiru saigo no gohoshi na no desu. Saburo sama no shi ni tsuite shinjutsu o akasu koto wa. I love that. Shit, just... shit. He shot her. Well, now we're really fucked. He shoots her with a drink. Trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? Yeah, for now. 
Lost your fucking mind? There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Vine Street. Second floor. Number 303. Knock four times. Hurry! I look okay to you? We're about to go live. Three, two, one. This is Julian Jordan. What's cracking fingers? My jaw. V, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Pan Am, I was in the middle of a conversation with a weirdo. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Now. If you're wondering why I'm here for this guy, it's because he was the closest breaths, Ripper Doc man, to, tell me what's going to when on. I finished that last mission. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? I'm just trying to find a place uh, where I'm not yeah, looking at dildos. Out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the old Caldo's camp. I'll explain it all. Yeah, the Caldos. Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. What do you think? Who is Doc Paradox, really? Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. I, I thought I had a little bit more clearance before I actually got to where this gig started. I just jump right into the shipyard. There you go. You get you get knocked out. You you've got nothing to do with this. You're just a a, a dock worker. Yeah. He's getting spotted left right on that one. I just can't get the damn tracker set. Nice simple mission there. This was supposed to be hush hush be. No drawing attention. But alright, the bugs planted. That's the most important thing. They'll just pray they don't find it. Gig shut and closed. There we go. I was waiting for the waiting for that thing to pop and give me my level. All right, into the final section here. And I, I make a mistake here and it's really funny.
I only knocked once because I, I I got there and I as soon I, I hit knock. <laughs> I hit knock not realizing there was an option to pick other options. Like, okay, let's knock again and boom. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I've, I've never seen that. That is really funny. Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Now are you gonna tell me what the fuck you were thinking? I used a sedative. She tried to enable yeah, her Yeah, I figured tracker. that. I'm just asking why no you choice. shot her with a trank. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea. Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama, kare ga rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. I'm sorry that we have to speak under such circumstances. That is the second time today I have heard that. I was there that night at Kampeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Look, I know it's a lot to take in, let alone believe. I also know you're an honorable person, worthy of trust. And that's why I want to make you an offer. You? Make me an offer? The relic your brother tried to hawk off the net watch is in my head, right now. Took a bullet to the brain, but the tech on the chip saved me. Now, it's slowly killing me. One of your personality constructs, engrams. It's overriding my psyche. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. I know you got the means to help me. Hanako-sama, be is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks, if only you will help him with the relic. Hanako-sama. You know, I just kind of noticed Did that you where you, that? Takamura kind of oh, looks at you, and he seems to almost mouth something, kind of like, uh, no. Or what? I, I never noticed that. That's cool. I got a bad feeling about this. Damn it! Chance to get the fuck out of here. Takamura. Can't leave him back there. Forget him, guys toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. Keep low in Ice 360. They're in the hallway. Thank <laughs> you. 
That overload did nothing for me. Alright guys, we're coming up to the end because we're going to cut here in just a second and uh, pick up in the next one. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Social media is down in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you all in the next one. But until then, guys, I'm out. Ah, what the... Don't you fucking dare float off. Not now. Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city. <laughs>